We've covered animation and animating an object around the screen, but what about animating the object itself? And you'll see computer game characters moving their arms and legs as they're rolling around the screen. And I'll be demonstrating how to do this using this sprite sheet I've created. So a sprite sheet is just a structured image, and I've created some arrows to demonstrate movement and motion on the screen. And if you... Uh, refresh your memory if you go back and watch tutorial 18 you'll want to create different densities and different sizes to cater for the different screens available on android device devices when manipulating these sheets we're going to detect which direction our character is going so if uh, it's going to the right i'll be using row one and animating across this row if, uh, if it's going up i'm going to be using row seven and animating across this row so we'll get a night rider-ish effect and to reference each individual drawing within a sprite sheet, we'll be finding at uh, finding out the width and length of our sheets and dividing by rows and columns. Now, if we do this for the extra high density sprite sheet, one of these arrows is 100 pixels by 100. That makes referencing, say, this image quite easy. It's just uh, 300 down and 200 across. And if we look at the high density pixel, we've got uh, a nice whole number, 75 by 75. For the medium density pixel, we've got 50 by 50. But if we look at the low density pixel, we've suddenly got these half pixel values. And uh, what, what's half a pixel? How, how am I going to slice up? How are you going to slice up half a pixel? from this sheet and place it onto the um, phone screen. If you go to the Android developers website, you'll see a distribution of the usage of screen resolutions and the low density pixel is tiny. So I'm going to not include this sprite sheet and Android uh, will take care of the scaling for you and look, if it detects a low density screen, it will look for the nearest available sheet, maybe this the medium baseline and it will scale this for you. So we'll just leave that one out. And if we look at my resource drawable directory, I've already copied them in. So I've got my high density sprite sheet, medium density, extra high density. Another thing I've recommended in tutorial 18 was to take a look at the, well, before I talk about that, once you've detected which density sheet to use, usually that's, uh, well, that's uh, enabling you to work from pixel values, the nearest suited pixel value measurements onto a density screen. So it's uh, pixels to density pixels. And usually that's one to one. And I'll show you how to enforce that or even change that ratio in later tutorials. But I went back to take a look at what we did on the reverse. So at one point we were moving from density pixels to pixels. So I went back to the Android developers website, looking at the support multiple screens area. It's a good read. You should, you should have a read. And if you scroll down to the density pixel to pixel converter, there's this 0.5F value, and it's not explained too well. And as a beginner, you might have some questions. And I'll show you what this does. It's really just to help round up your calculation to the nearest pixel if your density pixel conversion gives you any fractions. If you open up your activity game, game loop 004, here's the function that we created to convert from density pixels, we used an integer value, and we got our density pixel argument, multiplied it by the display metric density of whichever phone is currently in use, and that gave us our pixel value. But I've rewritten this, so I'm using floats for the argument, density pixel argument, and I've added this 0.5f. Well, what's this uh, 0.5f? If you're a good programmer, you're going to test it. So it's actually just a way of guaranteeing that the number you're stating is a float. So operationally, 0.5f is the same as 0. Capital F and casting to a float. And how does it round off? Well, I put some code together. I'll run it again for you. And in the log, you can check to see that 0 plus 0. 0.5 is 0. 0.5, but it rounds to 0. 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.5 is 1. 1 plus 0. 0.5 is 1. You might want to do the same. I'll just leave this up for a moment. So if you just copy these two methods across the new two pixel converter and floating point tester you'll need to run this method somewhere so if we go up to our game loop i've put it right here just after update big delta just to test the floating point maths i've got a cut and paste here of what what i saw and i'll run it again just to show you so here's our app and uh 004 animation was this pink controller so if i tap that We've seen the ball trajectory before. I'm happy with that. Let's just come back out of that and close the emulator. In the comments down here, you'll see that uh, these values match these values. 
and you can see that only if a fraction is detected will it round. Great, thanks for watching, and in the next tutorial we'll continue animating sprite sheets.